New at 11, just days after a deadly accident, the family of a Selma teen is speaking out for the first he time. He was an amazing kid. I mean, I loved him as my own brother. 16-year-old Roman Gonzalez was a student at Selma High School. He died riding a dirt bike on Saturday after crashing into a big rig truck. CBS 47's Justin Lum spoke with his sister-in-law and former coaches as they remember his spirit. For three years, Ramon Gonzalez played youth football as a Selma bandit. He ultimately wanted to play varsity football at Selma High School, but sadly, that won't happen. Ask Ramon Gonzalez's former coaches about his toughness. They are witnesses. Kids spent two days trying to walk that off, thinking it was just a sprain. Not a sprain, a broken ankle when Ramon played for the Selma Bandits, but still a leader. A month and a half later, Coach Vargas says Ramon returned in time for the playoffs. This kid comes to practice thinking he's going to play, and he couldn't walk just yet, but he was trying. But it was that heart. It was the heart was the biggest thing he had. And a mantra he carried with him to Selma High School. Once a bandit. Always a bandit. Ramon made the JV squad as a Selma Bear and his old coaches continued to watch him from the sideline. First things out of his mouth is how did I do? What did I do wrong? When Ramon wasn't on the football field, you could find him on his dirt bike. But last Saturday, Ramon's last ride turned deadly. When he crashed into a big rig, his sister-in-law got the call from her husband. All his words were, my baby brother, my baby brother is dead. And so he kept on shouting and shouting, and I was like, this can't be real, because who, who hears those words? Gonzalez says Ramon wanted to become a mechanic and had just become an uncle to her baby girl. As soon as she came out, he loved her. Bandit coaches say they'll miss him, helping out at practice and being a role model to the youth. His actions will continue to live through every single day as long as we as coaches step on that field. We all wish that we had visited him more and, you know, spent more time with him because he was just that good of a kid. You couldn't spend enough time with him. In Selma, Justin Lum, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Meanwhile, there is a GoFundMe account that's been set up to help with the funeral expenses. If you would like to contribute, we do have a link on our website. Just go to yourcentralvalley.com.